Hey guys, today's game will be between John G, who is playing Kador, and Jackie, who is playing Circle. Now, John G uses a uh, tier 4 Vlad 2 list, so he has a uh, Vlad 2 with Drago, a minimum unit of Iron Fang Pikemen with the unit attachment, a minimum unit of Black Dragons, a minimum unit of Iron Fang Ulans, a full unit of Iron Fang Ulans, the Great Bears, Widowmakers, and a minimum unit of Cossite Woodsmen. For Jackie's list, he's using Morvana 2 with a Warp Wolf Stalker, a Gorax, and a Walled Guardian. He also has a minimum unit of Blood Trackers, Blood Weavers, full unit of Skinwalkers with a unit attachment, two Shifting Stone units, one of them has the unit attachment, Swamp Gobbers, two Gallows Grove, and a Gatorman Witch Doctor. Now, before the game begins, uh, since John G is using a tier 4 Vlad 2 list, he gets to uh, have his buffs up before the start of the game. So, uh, Vlad has transference on him, uh, the Max Ulans have Hand of Faith, and Drago has Sail. Jackie has declared the Widowmakers to be the prey of his uh, Blood Weavers. The Ulans move to the wall. The other unit of Ulans also move. Markov runs over the wall. Great Bears run. Widowmakers move. And try to shoot the Blood Trackers, but they're stealth, so it auto misses. Drago then charges the white stone for a 9 inch movement. The Iron Fang pikemen get the shield wall, shield wall order and then move. The black dragon also shield wall and move. And Vlad simply walks. The Skinwalkers run. The Gatorman Witch Doctor moves and gives the uh, Blood Trackers tough and undead. Uh, the Blood Trackers then move. and take shots at the Great Bears. One of them hits the Great Bears, uh, one of the Great Bears, does 6 points of damage, and uh, it failed its tough check, so it dies. Another one was able to shoot another Great Bear. It does 5 points of damage, but this one makes its tough check. The 
Swamp Gobbers then run. Uh, Walled Guardian will Rile for 1 and then run. Morvana activates, casts Carnivore on the Blood Weavers, casts Fog of War, and then moves. The Blood Weavers run. The Stalker warps for strength, riles for 1, then runs. The Gorax runs. The White Shifting Stone teleports. The Gallows Groves, both of them, also teleport. And the Black Shifting Stones also teleport. Vlad upkeeps all the spells that he Markov charges one of the Skinwalkers. Does an impact attack, deals no damage. His charge attack does 7 damage on it, so it limps away with 1 life. The Great Bears charge the Blood Weavers and the Blood Trackers. One of them charges a Blood Weaver, the other charges a Blood Tracker, killing one of the Blood Weavers. The Blood Tracker, however, which is the target of the second Great Bear, makes its stuff check. Vlad then moves, pops his feet, he chooses all of the Ulans from the max unit and one Ulan from the minimum unit. Now, the minimum unit of Ulans charge the Skinwalkers. Two of them, however, fail to reach their target. One Ulan does make it, he hits and he kills the Skinwalker with his charge attack. Now the max unit of Ulans charge. One of them charges the Skinwalkers. One dies. Uh, the other charges the Gorax, and it takes 14 on Spiral One. A Blood Tracker gets hit by the charge, uh, and she fails her tough check. Two Ulans, however, fail to reach their charge target, so they don't get to attack. Now, Drago charges the Skinwalker, comes up short, fails his charge. The Iron Fang Pikemen get a Shield Wall Order, moves 6 inches forward, pops their mini feet, which allows them to move another 6 inches, and then Shield Wall. The Black Dragons, Shield Wall, and then just move forward. The Widowmakers move. Uh, no upkeeps were kept. The Gallows Groves teleports. The Blood Weavers charge the Great Bears, so uh, one kills the Great Bears, who cannot make its tough check because the Gallows grew is uh, too close to it. Now one of the Blood Weavers attacks a Iron Fang, but fails to kill it. Another attacks the last Great Bear and kills it as it fails to make its tough check. Skinwalker's charge. Morvana takes 1 damage to reroll the damage roll against Markov, who takes 7. 
Morvana then takes two more damage, but transfers it to the World Warden to reroll the damage on a defeated Ulan, who only takes one point of damage. The Black Shifting Stones teleport. The Swamp Gobbers move and do their Cloud Cover order. The Wall Guardian charges a Feated Ulan, boosts its hit, kills it, moves because of Ram, uses its second attack on the next Ulan, boosts to hit, and does 2 damage. Morvana now activates. Casts Carnivore on the Skinwalk on the Stalker. Sorry, she then moves back and channels through the Garros, uh, Gallows Grove and casts Death Nail on the Iron Fang Pikeman. Kit. Now this kills all seven models that were actually hit. The Gorax activates, moves, casts his Animus Primal on the Stalker. The Stalker charges one of the defeated Ulans. Morvana takes one damage to reroll the attack roll to hit. Uh, this kills the Ulan. It then buys another attack on the other defeated Ulan. It hits, kills it, buys another attack on the third Ulan, hits, kills it as well. The Blood Trackers then activate. They move and shoot. They kill two Widowmakers and two Iron Fang Pikemen. The White Shifting Stone teleports and the uh, unit attachment casts a Rock Hammer on Drago. It hits and it deals just 2 damage on 1, on column 1 of Drago. The Gallows Groves then teleports. Uh, Gator Man Witch Doctor casts Tough and Undead on the Skinwalkers. Uh, no upkeeps were kept. The Cossites have been deployed because of their ambush. Two focus has been allocated onto Drago. Drago then moves and attacks a, uh, the Stalker. He misses his first attack, hits with his second, dealing 7 damage on Spiral 2. Buys another attack, misses, buys one more attack, hits, and deals seven more damage to Spiral 5. The Ulans charge and kill a Skinwalker who failed its tough check. Markov attacks a Skinwalker and damages it. The Cossites move and try to shoot at the Bloodweavers, but everyone misses.
the Black Dragon's charge and CMA to kill four Blood Trackers and the Gallows Crew. Vlad just then runs. The Stalker frenzies due to uh, Primal and does uh, da 3 damage on Drago uh, on Column 1. The Swamp Gobbers then move, place Cloud Cover. Morvana activates, pops her feet, she takes 9 points of damage, she returns the Gallows Grove, uh, 6 Blood Trackers, 2 Skinwalkers, and uh, one blood weaver. She then channels Death Knell again through the Gallows Grove at the Black Dragons for POW 15. Uh, it kills five Black Dragons. The Blood Weavers charge the Cossites and the uh, Black Dragons. Uh, using Blood Burst, they killed a Black Dragon and take out all of the Cossites. The Wall Guardian then charges Drago. Uh, by the end of this, only uh, Drago's Cortex is uh, left. Okay, at this point, John G has tapped out 